Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. This is Tuesday and we continue to look at the second chapter of Romans. Today we're looking at Romans chapter 2 starting in verse 5 and reading through verse 11. Here now, these words. Hard-hearted and impertinent as you are, you are storing up for yourself wrath on the day of wrath when God's justice as a judge will be revealed. For he will give to everyone what their actions deserve. To those who, by perseverance in doing good, aim at glory, honor, and all that is imperishable, he will give immortal life. While as to those who are factious and disobedient to truth, but obedient to evil, wrath and anger, distress and despair will fall on every human being who persists in wrongdoing, first the Jew, but also the Greek. But there will be glory and honor and peace for everyone who does what is right, for the Jew first, but also for the Greek since God shows no partiality. So there are two dynamics at play in this section of the scripture. The first dynamic is a continuation of what Paul started in the first four verses that we talked about yesterday, this idea of judging others only to recognize that we can't do that. We fall under the same judgment. And so here, that is what he's saying is God is going to give everybody what they deserve. If you do good, you will get good. If you do bad, you will get bad. But he also then introduces a second dynamic, and that is the interplay between being a Jewish person or being a Greek person. Person. And that is going to increasingly become important as we move ahead. Before we dive into this Jew and Greek dichotomy and what all that means, let's back up and try to understand what it is that Paul is saying here. Because at first glance, this sure looks like a works-based reward system, doesn't it? Immortal life comes from being good, having glory and honor in our affectations and our aim, whereas anger and distress and despair will come from our factuous and being disobedient to the truth. But we can't stop here. That is too simple of an analysis. Paul is actually setting the stage for something more than just a do good, get good, do bad, get get, get bad accounting. We need, as Paul Harvey used to say, the rest of the story. And in order to get that, we're going to have to continue moving through this chapter and the subsequent chapters one verse at a time. Today, I want to leave you with this thought. If it is a do good, get good, do bad, get bad accounting, where do you think you fall on that list? And does it matter whether you are Jewish or not Jewish when it comes time to reap the return of what you have invested with your life? Ponder that. Respond to it below in the questions and the comments, and I will try to respond to you as best I can. In the meantime, listen to the Holy Spirit as you think about these things. And I'll see you tomorrow for another bit of the rest of the story.